And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo and broadcasting on TV One, a proud member of the Capital Maharaj Group. And uh, on this morning, to grace our studios, is the man who is on most people's minds, Minister Pfizer Mustafa. Very good morning to you, Mr. Mustafa. Good morning for us. It's wonderful to see you here. It's always and, uh, a pleasure being with you. Know, thank you for uh, wearing a tie that goes with the background and it, it sort of blends you in. But it doesn't mean to say that you have been blended out of sight. Because, Minister, you are very much the man in the news. Can you tell us, what did you do with the Supreme Court yesterday? No, for us, the delimitation of blood process the report was handed over to me. Originally it was handed over with three signatures. I refused to accept it. The How many do you need? You need five. The right. Honorable Attorney General advised me saying, saying that legally I cannot accept it unless all five sign. So five, or when all members sign, I accepted it. There are several flaws in the report. I wrote to the chairman, asked him to meet me to rectify those flaws. Up to date he has met me. Who is this chairman? Mr. Asoka Piris. Right. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't take, he doesn't respond to a no, he's, he's letter. No, he's become a politician now uh, and he's issued, issued, he has issued various statements, I mean, which are very contradictory. Then I decided to get my officials to rectify those mistakes and that process is... What were these easy. mistakes? Yes. That technical, I mean, with certain typing errors with regard to the maps, with regard to the boundaries, there have been there are certain there, there are certain errors which needed to be attended to and I asked my officials and my secretary to carry out those duties that's why I informed the Supreme Court that I'll gather the report within a month but I believe that I can do it in a week's time so who, who appointed this committee I mean I appointed this committee but were you not aware of their competencies the maybe time. sometimes you expect he's a former pub public official and a secretary with a lot of experience, sometimes... Who, who recommended him to you? I mean... Did they, he go to the same school as you? No, he didn't. No. no. So, so how did he come into your orbit? Because he was recommended by, by the government yes. and uh, I appointed him. And is Ahsoka Felix, is he uh, a sort of excuse, a ready-made excuse? For us, I would like to put one thing very straight. Yes, that, that I have carried out. I it. have carried out my duties to the best of my ability for the country. When I you're saw not taking the American presidential no, oath. No, I'm, yes. I'm not. No, for us, yes. I took steps to rectify the original report, which was done to the likes and wants of Honorable Basil Rajapaksa, which would have eradicated minor representation and would have been detriment to the interest of the country. Every, single, every political party wanted me to appoint the appellate committee and that committee carried out its duties. I gave them a mandate and when there are flaws with regard to the report, I have to take steps to rectify it. Right. But would you agree the, that you um, that you're not very popular out there? For us, with your I don't believe in that being popular popular is the right thing doing the right thing is important to me do you think that the people in the rural areas of our country where poverty is rampant and where they're struggling like nothing you can know do you think they care about all this for us, it's not. I am the minister of provincial councils and local government, yes, so it's and I'm I am. I, I question is whether the whether people care or not is not my concern. In terms of the statute, I have been asked to do specific tasks and carrying out that task to the best of my ability. Yes, well, you know that that's all well and good. But the point is that you've been dragging this matter forever and a day. And now you seem to be dragging it for another month. For, what, us, what if, if for us, why should I drag it? What benefit do I get dragging your party, it? Your, no, party. My party, your, your party is clearly got a problem. My party has continuously agitated that I hold the elections as soon as possible. His Excellency the President has always directed me to hold the election and to create, create the environment necessary for holding the election. I don't hold the election. It's the Election Commission that holds the election to create an environment conducive 
to holding elections and I'm doing that to the best of my ability. Unfortunately, people don't realize mm. that the task I have is that I have to rectify a report which was done to the wants of a particular individual. How's your relationship with His Excellency the President? I mean, like any other cabinet minister, I have a working relationship with His Excellency the President. So he must be very happy with you. I don't know, Faraz. As, a leader, as a leader of the Sri Lanka Far Freedom Party, Faraz, he must be very happy Faraz, with you. Faraz, I have served previously and the pre previous governments as well. Yes. I, 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 I never mean, is something been, as important as this. I've been given, I've never been a cabinet minister before. I, 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 I concede that. Yes. I've been given a particular, and I hope that His Excellency is happy the, uh, in the manner which I'm conducting my duties. Have you filed your assets declaration? I have, for us. Very good. Uh, that was just by the side, boy, uh, because on Face the Nation we had this conversation. Said. But anyway, the thing is, Minister, there is a profound dissatisfaction amongst the public. If you were an elected member of parliament, you would know that. To God too? This, every day, You've provided so much space for all the media. Delimitation, delimitation, delimitation. When are you going to cut to the chase and tell Faraz, us? When is this going to happen? Faraz, it's another delay now. Faraz, one month. You asked Faraz, one Faraz, month. Faraz, why is it that you're also pointing the finger at me? Faraz, you know that I, I would do always justice to the country. And if the media wants to bash me on this issue, they are free to do, do you know, free media. Do you know but, but I work according to my conscience and within the next week, I will guess at the delimitation appellate report. Well, do you know, if uh, our producer has forgotten the box of man-sized tissues because you make me weak with your... It's so sad that you, you you feel that you're being targeted here, and you know I I, I want. For us, I don't need sympathy. I don't need sympathy. But I will do justice by the country. Unfortunately, when you host a portfolio like mine, there is a lot of pressure from all quarters. Asoka Piri started bashing me because he couldn't take the pressure with regard to his duties. He didn't perform How's his duties the UNP properly. How members viewing you? For us, I don't care how the UMP or the SLF members. I, it does, it's it's well, not what my. What they said to you? Faraz, it's Has not my. Has the prime minister called? Faraz, you? nobody calls me because I would do what's best by the country. And I told the president and the prime minister prior to this task being given to me that I need a, the time and space to do justice by the country. Mm. And it's unfortunately that certain quarters are using the delimitation appellate report process as a political platform because they're all bankrupt politicians and nothing else to say. But isn't unity bankrupt with this LFP? No. I mean, for us, every, one every, got 50, every, every, 50 plus for us, every political party has, has had issues in history. At the time of elections, we'll all unite. And yet, we're the strongest political party. And we are the party that represents the rural masses of the country yeah. and no other political party mm. has that in this country and we are capable with whatever issues with whatever problems uniting to face any election well how come you can't unite with this chairman of your committee and work together with him for us it's not a question he he he, he worked with me until public pressure was mounting and he took up the position that best, the best way to deal with it was transfer it to me. And he started saying that I am not allowing him to carry out his duties. I've asked him Is that to do true? It's false because one month back, yeah. at a press briefing, yeah. he stated that I'm the best minister to work with. I follow the policy, of, I follow, I follow the policy of non-interference. And therefore, he, he finds it very easy to work. With. And he, one month after, he made a statement that I'm dragging his feet. I'm, I'm making things difficult for him. But you, but can you cast your mind back to the previous government in which you served? Yes. Uh, ma, uh, that intrepid duo, Mahinda and Gotabi Rajapaksa, yes. won the president, won the defense secretary. Yes. They termed Sarat Fonseca as the be uh, best army commander in the world. Yes. Only for three weeks or four weeks later to shove him in prison. Uh, you're describing to me similar sort of things. Asoka no, says Asoka, you're the best minister going. Yeah. And you know, since sliced bread. 
and then all and of I a become, sudden I become the villain. You become the villain. Yeah. What have you done in between to cheese him off? That is when pressure was mounting on him. He was not carrying on his duties For a properly. moment, I thought you were going to say when the pressure was mounting on you. No, uh, no, for us, Who's I can, I, I can take you? pressure for us for the reason that I believe, in, believe that one should be forthright. Whatever pressures, I will not succumb to. And um, tell me, Minister, wh wh where did you get your education? I'm, I'm, I'm a low, I was at Royal College. Right, and then you went to Law College? I'm a, I'm a locally educated. Uh, right, and you, you uh, did some kind of thing yeah, abroad? Yeah, I, I had a short stint abroad. I did my master's at, in Aberdeen. In Aberdeen? Yeah. It's, it's a, but you must have visited London from time to time. Yeah, occasionally. Right. My, my point is, did you, did you take membership of the Magic Circle when you were in the UK? Why do you ask such a question for us? Because you seem to be a magician par excellence because from time to time you trot out these excuses about the delimitation report you've had you've had your audience the people of this country the voting people of this country in you know they, they've been splitting their sides with laughter because you come up with the most wonderful excuses you are like a magician you get the box out and you hatch one thing out, you know, it's like one rabbit, one swan, one whatever, out at a time. And they're different colored rabbits. For us, I think you're being, becoming, you're very unfair by me. You, uh, know, I do. you know that I'm very I'm forthright. So sorry that you I'm do. very forthright in my dealings. And with regard to the delimitations report, I would like you to read that original report and the, and the draft appellate report at present. And you would, got to you would see the yeah. difficulties which I am facing. I, and I, 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 don't, I don't believe in all this magic, what's it, magic circle magic or what? Circle. Because magic. I have to do what's best by the country for us. And I'll do that whatever consequences I face, yeah. whatever criticism I face, because I've been given a task under, under statute and it's my job to complete that for us. But don't you think that you're running, a, you're running on thin ground now? That, that may be your... That, I mean, you may look at it that way for us, but I may be popular, I may be unpopular, people may bash me, but I have to act in terms of the law, and I'll do that for you us. You have to act in terms of the mandate that has been given to you? Yes, for us. I've always acted Are in terms of... Are you putting your party first or the public first? I, for us, I put the country first, the country second, and the country third. Politics is part, the party is secondary. That's why I'm part of a unitary, unity government. Mm. Because for me, I would always want a SLP government in place. Yeah. And there are issues in being part of a unity government. Yeah. But His Excellency wanted us to put the country first. So we today are part of this unity government. And uh, do you believe in collective responsibility? I do for us, being a lawyer, being a president's counsel. And a Democrat. Be, You're a true Democrat. I hope so. But are you? I believe so. Okay. Uh, so you believe in collective responsibility? I have quite... I can't be a member of the cabinet. I mean, there are certain ministers in cabinet who don't adhere to collective responsibility. But I believe that... Who are part these of ministers? I don't want to name them. Where are all these newspapers get their information from um, about what, what transpires in cabinet? That is, that is in violation with the cabinet responsibility. Um, do, you, do you suspect any particular person? I don't know. I, it's not my concern for us, it's just that... Because in the previous government, uh, some time back, we had accusations that uh, one member of that cabinet was using a handbag. So it obviously had to be a lady. And then for the us. bag had cameras and I all don't know about handbags things. for us. I mean, I, you I don't would know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. I, I wouldn't know and it's not my concern for us. But you are a cabinet minister. I'm now a cabinet minister. At that time I wasn't. You weren't. But yeah. perhaps, what about video pens and so I mean, if the, I mean it's, it's improper. I mean, improper. I mean, you shouldn't do that. Right. Now, now you, you are committed to the principle of collective responsibility. To the best of my ability, yes. Right. T tell me about this. In two years. Two years we've been, your, we've had with this government for two years now. And <clears throat> we've had the Bond saga, we've had the coal saga. saga, the outer circular highway, the Central Expressway, the Slave Island land, the Humboldt of the port, the Matala airport. No arrests have been made, no logical conclusion on holding the previous government accountable. Um, 
We've had Volkswagen, we've had the tire factory. We've had Sri Lankan Airlines, we've had the Mitsubishi Tokyo Bank loan. We've had the duty-free concessions to members of parliament. We've had the, uh, the giving away of the Prados without, the pro without proper, um, you know, waiving the duties. Um, or the CES. What, what part was first? The, the four-wheel drive vehicles. We haven't forgotten. The Minister of Finance, whilst an, whilst an ongoing investigation was happening at Custom, decided to wave it all off and l release the things only on the payment of the duty. Then we had the proposed rental of uh, high-end vehicles for something called Members of Parliament to travel to their but that electorate. But that did stop them for us? I hope so. It but has been. These are the, what I issues? call the Should. Dirty 12 Plus. Have you counted this them is for the us? Dirty 12 Plus. You counted them for us? I have counted That's them and, I've, and have three others have been added while I've so that been is going on. 15. Well, 15 and it's growing. 0 300 305. SMS your your questions. Tell us about all these things. Now, what's going on? For us about the bond issue. Are you, are you a proud member of this cabinet? For, for us, there are certain things I'm proud about. Some of these issues which we raise. Are you, are you have, proud of any of these for matters? Us, just no, saying. I'm not. For us, there are issues, there are concerns. But with regard to the bond issue, His Excellency the President appointed the Presidential Commission to deal with it. Right. And I think that's a very progressive step. And so I'm sure would you tell me this, Mr. Mustafa. Yeah. You, you, in your course of your work, you must be visiting uh, the Treasury Secretary, the no Presidential for us. Secretary. No, for us. You I, must be going there. For Come us. on. You, no, you, you for go us, for a meeting. I did. I go to the Presidential Secretary if I'm summoned. Mm -hmm. I have. I have. So a, when you're I have office at 330. Uh, union place. Union place. Right. Right. Yes, so I function from there and my duties are from there. Yes. So if I'm summoned by His Excellency the President for a specific you, you talk, I go there. Of course. Now, when you, went, when you go there, you know, they've got wide, big corridors there. Have you spotted a chap by the name of Arjuna Mahendran wandering about like a lost sheep? No, for us. No, you haven't. No, well, no. well, the thing is that we, we, we have but a problem. I, uh, but I have, I, I mean, after he was removed as governor, yeah. I think I've, I've seen him in certain meetings, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't, I've not seen him, seen him lately. Yes, and you didn't, I don't suppose it crossed your mind to find out why he's there on for us, basis. For us. Because in, you're not an investigative journalist. For right? us, no, I'm not. No. And, and, and you're one of the best for us. Well, no, no, And no, I, no. I mean, see, I think your contribution towards investigation. Yes, now I've given mm. you a full talk. No, now, but for us, stop now. it now. For us, seriously, have to go for break for us, seriously people like you, your commitment should be appreciated. We and you all help politicians like us to deal with matters and give us clarity in well, quite, regard quite frankly, to issues not, yes. which we don't have. Well, and I think frankly, that way you are doing a great service for us the frankly, country. Quite frankly, if not for our chairman and the existence of this group. No, I think Capital Maharaja Group has done a lot in exposing corruption and you're lucky. And, and the commitment you'll have to freedom think, of speech. speech. I mean, it's great for us. I mean, for I have, I being a politician, I am so involved in the delimitation process. I have very little time for other issues, but I've learned a lot by watching your news and but uh, you have seeing about seeing but, uh, uh, on the delimitation issues. report. You have been at your inventive best in not having the election. For us, why, how many why, months? Why, why, Come for on, us, Mr. For us, why are you being so cynical? Why are you being so cynical? For us, it's not fair. Look, here I we mean, go. We've got we've got messages. We've got messages. Putting country first, justice by country, etc. How does selling a car permit justify that? I you have, haven't. I have. But several of your colleagues, at least 220 For us, can, can I tell you this? Yeah. Whoever issued a permit yeah. should have not issued, they should have issued a non transferable permit. Here, the permits issued to members of parliament. It should, they were issued transferable. So it gives it, give the members of parliament. What have you done with your permit? I ordered a vehicle for us. It's on its way. It's on its way. Yeah. Right. And, you, you and I, got a, um, I hope it? to get, no, I hope to get a loan which, uh, and, and pay for it. At, at favorable interest rates. So if I'm given, if yes, yes, at favorable interest rates, yes. Well, so that, it has been that, offered to me. For us, that, let's be very, yeah. as, a, benefit as, to as a member, member of parliament, of parliament uh, the bank offers me at a, concessionary interest rate and I take it right good yeah, yeah. that's fine uh, uh. no no problem with that uh. but we do have a problem no yeah. about about these vehicles being sold for us yeah why if can't they pay if, the if, if the law permits them yeah. to sell it and their permit 
being that the allows you to transfer the vehicle so be it's it. within their legitimate right to do so correct some may opt to do it some may opt not to do it right so if the law permits yeah. there's very little anybody could do do you, do you think the do you think I, if my, in my view it they should have not allowed the vehicles to be transferred for 5 years right. then you're compelling the member to keep that vehicle for 5 years right that How was done in the past for us it was but mr rajapaksa uh, had uh, caused the sending of a circular uh, to withdraw that but uh, the contention is and i think it's in court now uh, yeah, mr sorry. kodi tuak is saying that you can't change it by circular Th- that's fine but what about this business about you're sitting in the chamber and somebody's proposing an additional 100000 to members of parliament this somebody is none other than your prime minister how fair is that when there are people in kalawanchi kudi and all sorts of places in rural sri lanka who have who are living desperately poor conditions for us come and join government and go along with them and see no, i mean government is doing a great job but for us are members of parliament you have to do a comparison of the perks and privileges given in other jurisdictions because they need certain facilities to work i'm not justifying the 100000 but i think a comparison should be done and a reasonable remuneration should be given to facilitate their work that's all i'm stating for us and i i have not gone into depth to see the facilities given in other jurisdictions but i believe that members of parliament should be given certain facilities so that they sh- they could carry out their duties without any hindrance 69 years of independence coming up so 11 heads of state and just three politicians who well, i think they were ministers who were sent home on the mere allegation of corruption and the person the head of state that carried that out was possibly the person who served least amount of time because his journey was interrupted by the fact that he got assassinated swr de bagmaker the three people he removed from politics actually were very very close to him one of them or all three perhaps were party with him in the formation of the party that you are now a member of the sri lanka freedom party so 69 years we've had three people back in the 50s who were sent home on the mere allegation of corruption does that mean that politics politicians in sri lanka are one clean lot no i don't for i think i think the commitment by S- honorable sapdwar di bandar naik was great today unfortunately politics have become a numbers game mm. so sir, in certain occasions if you look at history to keep the government going certain things have been done certain acts have been swept under the carpet so it's a system per se for us which is responsible because we lack having stable governments which we had during the west minister system so when a government is in power uh-huh. they require a working majority and to do and i'm being very candid about it for us i'm not yeah. pointing the finger at anybody yeah. to keep that working majority going continuously governments have been doing things which sometimes how is not in the best in the country it has been done just to keep the, the mandate of the government going how virtuous a politician are you for us that's not for me to answer for us it's for the general public to decide whether i'm virtuous or not if you uh, were paid if you were paid if somebody said to you there's a proposal saying right no more benefits to you politicians members of parliament we will pay you a net amount of I don't know. Let's shall we say five million a month. Okay. Would you happily give up all your benefits, all your benefits, petrol, stationery, communications, secretaries, the lot? And if they said you would give you five million a month, no pension, nothing. You sort your whole life out with the five million. Country can't afford it. What would you do? You, pro- you probably country can't afford it. The I mean, country uh, can't afford if, it. If so the country can if, afford seven hundred thousand a month 
times 58 Farad, or 60. I don't, say, I don't say that the country can afford that either. And that's why it was opposed to in cabinet by, by some of my SNP colleagues. As, as part of this collective responsibility that you, uh, that you sort of uh, uh, believe, in, believe in, thank you, um, what do you say in cabinet when things come up like the appointment of, uh, you know, say the chairman of Sri Lankan Airlines or when Sri Lankan <laughs> Airlines is changing its aircraft and doling out a hundred million dollars plus loss when when the cabinet is approving a proposal by the prime minister no less that this Mitsubishi Tokyo bank loan we've got to pay insurance of 10.07 percent and an advance payment of 107 million US dollars what do you do when you sit in cabinet? Farras, can I disclose what happens in cabinet? Can I tell you I said this so I accept this in cabinet that goes against collective right? You, I cannot. What a wonderful I, excuse I, to avoid I, the Farras, question. For us, I cannot. You know, you, wear, you, you Farras, wear a lovely spectacles. For us, you, you may have other ministers coming here and telling you what transpired in cabinet. They don't. But I will not and I cannot. I'm a president's counsel. I'm a lawyer. And I, be, I believe in, uh, okay, which I, uh, for us, what I oppose and what I don't oppose in cabinet, I cannot disclose to you for us. And that is something I, I, I. Well, will you do I, us something then? Yes, for us. Would you kindly go back, when you go back to your office or wherever it is, would you tell this cabinet office to scrap the media circus that follows the end of the every cabinet meeting. Farras, if you can't tell us the truth, Farras, then don't say Farras, it at all. There is a cabinet spokesman appointed to tell you what fans What they want us to know. Farah, I can I tell you what happened in cabinet? I can't. Because I am not the cabinet spokesman. So I'm asking I, you. I would like I'm to, asking you. Farras, you don't need to Farras, be the Farras, no, no, I would, Mr. Like, Mr. I would I like to tell I you a lot of things. Farras, Farras, I would like to tell you a lot of things, take? but I can't. What is your take? What is your take? When you sit there and you find these people, they're appointing European Farras, members of parliament to the board of Sri Lankan Airlines. What on earth Farras, are they doing there? Farras, I have done justice to the country every time I sat in cabinet. But unfortunately, what transpires in cabinet is confidential. And therefore, for us, if you ask me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. you ask yes. me, have you done justice to the country by being a cabinet minister? In terms of my conscience, I'll say yes. But I cannot come to your program and say, I objected to this, I objected to that. That is not expected by me in terms of the law and in terms of collective responsibility. Wonderful. You know, when it suits uh, uh, you politicians... For us, it's a very unfair state. You started this program yeah. by dealing with collective responsibility. Indeed. If you were... A cabinet minister, would you come to this program and divulge matters? When it suits you all, you all say, have you're, I, you're hide behind this collective have responsibility. I, have I, have you I, do that and you say, us, look, you know, us, I'm, have I'm behind collective have I ever, responsibility. I don't, when, I don't, I don't no, hide behind anything for us. You know that very well. But Pfizer Mustafa will not hide behind anything. Then I tell us what Pfizer Mustafa said when Sri Lankan Airlines came us, to uh, get approval what, what to Pfizer, hand out a hundred and ten million dollars. What Pfizer Mustafa said in cabinet? Pfizer Mustafa said. Right. What Pfizer Mustafa said in cabinet is not cannot, is, is cannot not, be, it, it's, cannot it's not be for, disclosed to the public. public. It's not for the public because it's because it's part of collective responsibility. You're right for us. You're right. Wonderful. How wonderful is democracy? For us, why are you being so cynical for us? For us, it's very Shall I tell you, you why? You should it's have asked the bond the issue, the coal issue, the outer circular highway, the Central Expressway, Slave Island Land, Hamban to the Matale Airport. Have you asked Have you asked the cabinet spokesman these questions? Have you gone to the press briefing? If we want to get more lies and lies and more lies, then maybe we want so to do that. So then, this, ha, no, this is have why. You asked the this list is us, why. Have you asked the cabinet spokesman? Sinister. Have you asked the cabinet spokesman this question? Have you personally asked the cabinet spokesman How, this question? Uh, no, have I, you? I haven't personally asked. So then, for us, no, 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 no. Excuse me. We're not a one-man band in this company. We've got people here. We've got three networks. We've got various radio stations. We are fully represented. And all we, we don't get enough answers, which is why when you turn up here and when anybody else turns up here, they get asked the same questions. You know, that's, that's all there is, Mr. Mustafa. We want to know. Final question. 
When is the election? Give us a date. Come on, for us. I, I mean, I should be gazetting the appellate report within a week or two. The election commission has stated they need a minimum of 55 days. So, you do, so your do the math. Come on, you do the math. You do the math in mm -hmm. two weeks plus minimum 55 days. So, then look, I hopefully look, in, look, in, look. In, 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 Mustafa, in March. You, you've in, got a similar phone to me, right? That's the calendar. Can you tell me when? For, for Give me a date. Us, for us, you should realize that it's not my mandate in fixing the date. You, you got your, you got your law wrong. It is the election no, I'm commission. Not, I'm trying to get my maths for, right. For, you neither have got your maths right nor the law right because it's the election commission that fixed the date. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of a wonderful morning in which uh, Faisal Mustafa, our cabinet minister, with uh, a great believer in collective responsibility, has turned up. Thank yeah. you for uh, Thank you for being here, Mr. Mustafa. But uh, on that note of uh, a lack or whatever of collective responsibility that marks the end of newsline this morning thank you for watching we'll see you again here same time same place tomorrow morning have a great day and god bless